the light of the world. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Then he said, you are the light of the world. He says the light is not made to be put underneath a bushel basket or under the bed, but to be seen. Jesus says, let your works give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Pope John Paul II, the last time that he went with the young people, the World Day of Youth, was in Toronto, Canada. And the theme of the Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, was to the young people, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. You, I, am called to be the light of the world because we're the followers of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the light in capital letters. We're the light in small letters. This being the case, how can we be a light in the midst of so much darkness? The Christopher movement has a wonderful motto. And it's this, better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. I would suggest all of us try to give light to the world. Three ways. Prayer. By praying, we receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the gift of gifts. You remember after the first novena, Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descended upon Mary and the apostles in light, in fire. So if you're a man and woman of prayer, then you will be imbued in light. And you'll be able to give light to others. Second way that we can give light are through our actions. Look at the corporal works of mercy. I was hungry, you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was a foreigner, and you welcomed me. I was in prison. In the hospital, you came to visit me. When? Whenever we did it to the least of our brothers, we do it to Christ. So by practicing the corporal works of mercy, we are also communicating light. Last but not least, we can communicate light by listening attentively to others, listening to their problems, commiserating with them, empathizing with them. So my friends, Jesus is the light of the world, but you are called to be the light of the world. My Our Lady, who is known as Stella Maris, the star of the sea, help us all to be a light in our world. Amen.